The King County Coroner's Office has identified those teens as 17 year old Kamora Campbell of Bartlett and 16 year old Tolule Henry of Elgin. Now, the school officials have identified a third student who was also in that vehicle and involved in the crash as Elizabeth Esparza. They say she is currently in the hospital and in stable condition. They are not releasing the identity of the fourth student who was in that vehicle and involved in that crash who received non life threatening injuries. And like you guys mentioned, all four Four of them were students here at South Elgin High School. A memorial at the crash site and one on school grounds have been formed to remember the lives of the teens. Students gathered this morning before classes by the football field in their honor. Thursday morning, less than a mile from the school, officials say Tulule and Kamora, along with Elizabeth, were in a Honda Civic with a fourth female student. Around 7 o'clock in the morning when their vehicle collided with a semi truck. According to the Bartlett Police Department, the Civic was traveling northbound on Route 25 when it failed to yield turning left on Kenyon Drive on a green light. The impact sent both vehicles into the nearby cornfields and first responders had to cut the roof of the car to get to the students. Police say the male driver of the semi truck and the driver of the Civic suffered non life threatening injuries and were transported to area hospitals. One teen died at the scene and another at an area hospital. In a statement, the school says, our hearts go out to their families and loved ones during this incredibly difficult time. We are here to provide support and assistance to the affected families in any way we can. A crisis team with grief and loss counselors has been activated on campus and they say they will be here as long as they're needed. For now, reporting live from South Elgin High School, Christine Flores, WGN News.